In this lesson, we're going to be talking about form autocompletion, specifically the HTML5 autocomplete attribute. You can find tons of information about this in several places through the web. My favorite resource is the Mozilla Developer Network. They have a whole very long page on forms, and then they also have a page all on the autocomplete attribute. Let's go over it together. In this lesson, I'm working on autocomplete.html. That's in your working files folder under the current unit. This page is exceedingly simple. All we have is a simple HTML5 boilerplate, an input tag, and then an unordered list with two links. Now, if I open this up in a web browser, this is what I get. I'm going to go ahead and type in my name. Now, if I navigate to another page, the browser will remember what I've typed and it'll fill it back in when I go back. For example, if I click on the Google link here and then I press the back button, there my name still is. That's one way that the browser will autocomplete forms. Telling the browser to not do this is actually very trivial. Let's do that right now. All we need to do is type in our input tag, autocomplete equals off. Now that we've typed autocomplete equals off, if I refresh this page and I type in my name, I'm gonna to go to Apple this time. You'll see that when I go back, there's nothing there. This is especially useful in two cases. One, if you don't want information to be retained inside your form, perhaps because it's sensitive information. Or two, if you're implementing your own autocompletion on the web page with JavaScript. In that case, you don't want the browser trying to do the same thing you're doing and getting in the way. Now, if you leave off autocomplete equals off, the browser will assume that autocomplete is on. Another thing that you could do is you could say, autocomplete equals on if you want to explicitly state that you do want autocompletion to be available. Additionally, autocomplete equals off, you can put on any input element, any other form element, or on the entire form tag itself. So if this input tag was inside of a form like this, we could go ahead and say autocomplete equals off on the form and it would apply to everything inside of it. That's especially useful for very large forms where you don't want to have to type autocomplete equals off for every single form element. Now in English, the word autocomplete can have multiple meanings. What we're talking about right now is the browser putting the input that the user has already put in back into the element when you navigate away and come back. In the next lesson, we're gonna be talking about the other type of autocompletion. That is, if you start typing, it'll guess what you want to type and present you with options.